You're welcome to Grizzly Tales for Gruesome Kids. A series of cautionary tales for lovers of squeam. I call this tale Simon Sulk. Spindle Shanks is sulking because I happened to mention that I don't like children. The taste, you stupid spider! But there are them out there what think you kiddies are sweet and delicious, especially with barbecue sauce. <laughs> We are safe in here. The wolves cannot pass through walls. Help! Help! Help us, please! It is a trick. The wolves have disguised their voices. We mustn't let them in. What do you want? We are a family of gypsies. The wolves have attacked our caravan and dragged off our children. In the name of God, save us before we are all killed. Let us in, we beseech you. Open the doors. Iceland for 500 years, roasting their victims over open fires. Then, in 1581, they were driven out by King Magnus and have been searching ever since for a new home. Simon, I said no more television. We've got an early start tomorrow. Don't want to leave. Simon was a sulk, a real stamper, ranter, pouter and shouter. If he didn't get his own way, he would barricade himself into his room until he did. Simon, come out now! La 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 can't hear you. His mum and dad had sold their house to an Icelandic couple, Mr and Mrs Thorsvelt. But Simon had made it clear that he did not want to move to Devon. When his mother took him to buy his new school uniform, he sulked. I won't wear it. I'll spit and scream and throw up if you make me. I hate it more than I hate you. All of you. I don't want a smelly new uniform. I don't want to go to a punky new school and I don't want to move house, so I won't. And when he got home, Simon locked himself into his bedroom. You'll never see me again! I hope I die in here! Then you'll be sorry! The next morning, Simon's parents were up early to organise the move. Are you awake yet, Simon? He was, but he wasn't getting up to move house. Simon! Are you awake? No! I'm having a lie-in! Come on, precious. You're not still angry with Mummy, are you? It's a beautiful day. The nice removals men will be here soon. Good. Then perhaps they'll remove you. Oh. Simon's dad was called up from the garden and they both got down on their knees. It's no good sulking, Simon. You have to move house with us. Can't make me. In fact, I'm going to hold my breath until you change your mind. I shall charge this door down if I have to. You won't get in, Simon shouted. Oh, won't I? scoffed his dad. He didn't. Oh, boo-hoo! Can't you hear how upset Mummy is? When the removal men have finished, we'll have to go. Not listening. La 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 la
Simon was still la la lying when the removal men left for Devon, and his parents followed in their car. We're not really leaving him, are we? He is only ten. Of course not. We're going to pop in here for a cup of tea, then go back and get him. He'll be downstairs having his breakfast by then, you'll see. Besides, what harm can come to him in half an hour? Whoa! But Simon had seen through his parents' plan and was expecting them to come back. And when they did, he'd make sure they didn't catch him. What Simon didn't know is that sometimes being stuck behind a locked door is not the safest place to be. <laughs> a few minutes later, he heard a key fumble in the front door and floorboards creak in the hall. His parents were pathetic, so transparent. I told you I wasn't coming out, he shouted as the footsteps climbed the stairs and stopped outside his door. I know you're there. Did we scare you? No, I knew you'd be back. He meant just now, when we crept up the stairs, whispered his mother in a strangely croaky voice. I'm not scared, said Simon, as a dog howled in a neighbour's garden. And I'm not coming out either, till you say we're not moving. We're not moving, said his father quickly. Do you think I was born yesterday? Simon, dear, we want you out of the house now. <coughs> then suddenly his parents were pleading. Save us, Simon. Help us. Let us in. Save you from what? The wolves, sobbed his mother. The wolves are behind us. Their hot breath is on our backs. Don't be stupid there, dogs. They belong to the neighbours. They're wolves. In the name of God, save us before we're both killed. Simon was unsure what to do. What if his parents were telling the truth? This is your mother and father, Simon. Let us in. We beseech you. Simon opened the door. Ha, ha, very funny. Take a gold star. You've tricked me and now we're going to Devon. What do you want? A new home. <laughs> Seconds later, the doorbell rang. Hello, said Simon's mother. Have you seen Simon? No, said Mrs Thorsvelt. But you are most welcome to come inside to be looking for him. And that night, the Thorsvelts had a barbecue! Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> delicious. <laughs> After that little story, I don't think I'll ever trust a friendly face again. Hey, Spindle Shanks? He's still sulking. Spindle Shanks? <laughs> See what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> a family of four, but they all seem so down. They've just bought a house in Grizzly Town. Pleasantville, Happy Town, not on your <laughs> nelly. This neighbourhood's different, so stay glued to your telly. Feeling safe in the city or snug in the dales? Stick around for more Grizzly Tales. <laughs>